Welcome back to the LDI. Today we're going to talk about windlasses and specifically windlasses that are slipping or running. Now, if you've ever had the experience where you're trying to weigh anchor or pull up your anchor or you're letting it out and all of a sudden it just starts running on you out of control, uh, you know it's an unpleasant and, and quite frankly can be a scary experience. We're going to talk about our top three ways to be able to deal with a slipping or running windlass today. So let's get to it. Join us on the Elliott as we realize our five year plan with the kids grown up, moved out, graduated from college. We take the dog, sold everything, and kitted out the boat so we can cruise the Pacific Northwest all while living and working in the heart of Seattle. This particular windlass on the Elliott is a Mir Storm 2200 electric windlass. So right off the bat, we're going to talk about how this thing can run on you. So if you think about it, this is basically just a big nut that is screwed down onto a big brass washer. And the friction between those two things means that it can pull up the anchor road and if it gets too much of a load it can slip a bit without destroying your windlass by design. However, when this thing gets loosened up like any nut, it can slip and what happens then is this chain road will absolutely run on you and it's always at the worst time. You're either trying to bring up the anchor, you're trying to drop the anchor, or the most catastrophic incident would be you're running and your windlass just lets go and all of your road ends up in your gear. If you have a horizontal windlass, you probably have one of these hanging around. You may not know what this is for, but it's a pretty cool little tool. It goes right into this star here, right at the top. What you do is you give it a yank clockwise. And what it does is it tightens down that nut. So now, this windlass, as you saw, just a little bit of slack came off of that. That means it was starting to loosen up from use, and the friction was getting lower, which means it had the opportunity, if it kept loosening, that this chain would run on us. So periodically to do just that, and I'll stop that problem. Second piece of taking care of your windlass, and it's really just annual maintenance on this. I'll show you that right now. By spinning the clutch nut counterclockwise on the windlass, you can pull that right off, pull off the chain wheel, and it'll expose the friction point or brass bearing on the windlass. Clean any corrosion off of that, apply a very, very thin layer of marine grade grease on it, and then just do the opposite. Put on the chain wheel and tighten the nut clockwise. Uh, Done! Uh, unplanned anchor deployments are never good. We're gonna put in a anchor safety. These are extremely important and a lot of boats just don't come with them like this navigator. So we went to fisheries and made this bad boy up. It has basically just a clip shackle on one end of it that uh, spins. We've got some stainless braided uh, cable here. I was able to put the thimbles on and the clamps uh, be able to cut this to size. We really don't need that much length. It's about nine inches of length. And then the important part, this stud that will run through the deck and have this back plate uh, that's really just a washer. We'll put a little bit of Sickleflex down and that'll make it waterproof. We will have an actual anchor safety that this boat and many other boats should come with and don't. It's crazy. Uh, we'll drill through the deck here uh, in the reinforced area right next to the windlass so that we can be able to use this snap ring and that'll go through the chain on the anchor and we don't have to worry about tragic outcomes. This is the anchor locker and you can see that the windlass has this blocking that they have underneath the deck uh, to reinforce the windlass so we're gonna pop a hole right through here. Uh, it's about four inches off center from the center of, of the windlass and it'll land somewhere about here. So just making sure that we're not gonna hit any wires or any of the screws or run into any obstacles so that we can drill once and be done. You also notice that the deck over here, uh, it's about three inches deep. So 
That's why that particular lag bolt that we have with the eye on it is about three and a quarter. So we'll just pop it right through there, put the nut on it. It won't stick out too far, so we never have to worry about something interfering with that nut in time. Time to go up on the deck and drill some holes in our boat. My least favorite thing is to drill holes in our boat, so measure twice, drill once. I like to start with a eighth inch drill bit to start a guide hole before I do my final uh, larger diameter uh, bit and that way it, you don't have to worry about it accidentally uh, running across the deck or chipping the gel coat. After the final hole is in the deck, I like to use a camphor bit which takes the edge off of the gel coat so that once the hardware is in the deck, we don't have to worry about it spider cracking. Put some caulk around here. This thing of caulk was, uh, it had already kicked when I opened it up. Really? Mm -hmm. Not cool. So all you need to do, just need you to keep this straight. I'm going to go down below with a wrench and I'm going to put some of that shit on down below too. So Just hold it in mm -hmm. place. That's it. Just like that. Okay. And I'm going to screw against you and all I want is that relatively straight to the bow. Okay. Cool. I'm going to use that. And Thank you. Now you'll never see us make a video about our anchor running and getting caught up in our running gear. Done. And as we promised, here's the bonus round. This cover uh, goes over the windlass. These things just sit out and get abused by the weather They're right at the bow of your boat, so they're taking salt spray. This is basically a magnet for corrosion. So being able to either have one of these covers made or get one that's already available online for your model, it will stop a vast majority of the salt water and the elements getting in to your windlass, and I'll keep it in top condition all the way through the season. Thanks for watching. Peace.